Jan O'Donnell served with the Navy of the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars. After serving for a short time with the Empire, he quickly joined the Rebellion. Jordan is first famous for his appearance in Rogue One, where he is a part of the Rebellion's meeting on whether or not they should attack Scarif. He also appears in A New Hope, where he is seen giving the battle plans to the pilots on how to destroy the Death Star. In Awakening the Rebellion, Jan O'Donnell commands a heavily modified Alliance assault frigate titled Vanguard II. He also holds the Admiral rank, providing a 10% combat bonus for all ships. On the galaxy map, Jordana reduces the cost of A-Wing squadrons on the planet he orbits by 50%. He is considered a minor hero and cannot be retrieved if he falls in combat. In space battles, Yandodana's AAF is potentially the most heavily modified ship a hero offers over its typical version. His shield and armor strength remain the same, however he replaces four of the typical medium turbo lasers with four medium turbo ion cannons. This greatly shifts the damage he does from heavily favoring hull damage to a good balance between hull damage and now shield damage as well. This makes him perfect to use in combination with other Alliance Assault Frigates and Dauntless Battleships to deal both heavy shield damage through him and the Dauntlesses, and heavy close range hold damage as well. As I said with General Snub, many players tend to gear entire fleets around the AAFs, Dauntlesses, Dreadnoughts, and different fast fighters, committing to the close range, high damage style of combat, all with Dodonna as the lead admiral providing his 10% combat bonus. In addition to the Iron Weaponry, Dardana's Assault Frigate also comes with two A-Wing flights with two in reserve. Personally, I find Odana to be a unit hard to keep alive. His close range weapons, and the fact that I use him in a fleet meant to dive deep in enemy lines, I've learned it can be difficult to keep him from being targeted, as the enemy seems to target him first over other units. He does have the pursuit ability which can get him in and out of certain situations, but for such a high worth admiral and a good bonus for the galaxy map, I personally use him very carefully in order to not lose those great features. In ground battles, Yandodana cannot be used. Final rating, 9 out of 10 hero.